Hello coin collectors out there. Welcome back to the Big D Coins channel. In this video, we're going to talk about the coin on the right, which is a Ben Franklin half dollar. Uh, these coins were made from 1948 until 1963. Now I've got it juxtaposed, uh, this peace dollar right here. And uh, the main reason for that is because there's a great similarity between the Ben Franklin half dollar and the peace dollar. And that is the value of a circulated coin is going to be based primarily on the melt value of silver. Unfortunately for the half dollar, it has about half of the silver in it as compared to the uh, peace dollar right here on the left. So the peace dollar has a weight of 26.73 grams and it is 90% silver. Unfortunately, the half dollar only has a weight of 12.5 grams. It as well is a 90% silver. So the melt value of the half dollar alone is worth about $5.71. Probably round that up to about $6 in melt value alone based on the silver content of the coin. However, your coin can be worth significantly more money, which is great news if it's in a uncirculated, about uncirculated, or extremely fine condition. Now, unfortunately, the coin I've got right here on the right is rather worn out. But I just want to show this one as an example. So the way you can tell if your coin can be graded uncirculated, the definition of uncirculated is no wear in the luster. Original mint luster covers the full surface of the coin. So if you have a single light source, the way that you can see that original luster is by taking the coin and slowly rotating it under a single light source. And as you can see, this piece dollar right here has got a lot more of the original mint luster than the coin that we're going to look at on the right. So we'll look at this piece dollar and now let's slide this aside. No longer gonna talk about this one and we'll just talk about this one right here. So as I rotate this, um, you don't really see any luster at all. So this is a circulated coin kind of an average circulated condition. We're also going to talk a little bit on the reverse as far as the key areas to look for to get yours in that almost uncirculated or extremely fine condition. Now the key areas that you wanna look for for the about uncirculated, so the definition of that is a small wear to the high points of the coin. On the obverse, that's going to be Franklin's chin and cheek. On the reverse, that's going to be the lettering on the Liberty Bell. So on a uh, better conditioned coin right here, you actually see some of the lettering on the Liberty Bell, as well as these straps holding up the bell. So those are the high points for the reverse. Now an extremely fine coin, uh, that's going to have the cheeks flattened just a little bit, which I've got mine flattened right here, but it's uh, more than just a little bit. And then on the reverse, you'll see uh, the letters on the Liberty Bell, but they'll be a little bit more faint. And you'll also see lines down here going across the bottom of the rim for the bell. So you can see on mine just a little bit of the lines for yours to get that extremely fine condition. These lines that are going horizontal right down here, those will have to be intact. Now, as far as the rare versions of these coins, so another thing that can increase the value of your Ben Franklin half dollar is if it comes from a more rare year. Now, unfortunately, the most rare year is 1955, and the mintages in that year are still in the 2 million range. So there's 2 million 400, uh, 498,000 of these that were produced in 1955, which is the most rare year. The most common year is going to be the 1963 Denver Mint uh, Franklin Half Dollar, in which there are 67 million of those made. The average mintage across all dates and mint marks is a combined uh, 13 million. So the average mintage for each of these coins is 13 million. They were produced at the Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco Mint. They are made dur during a series of 16 years between 1948 and 1963. There are also some more rare proof coins. So if you've got a more rare proof coin, then that could get the uh, CAM designation, and that will really increase the value of the coin, the Cameo designation. Now, as far as the mintages of the proof coins, uh, those are relatively rare. So in 1950, uh, the 1950 proof coin, there were only 51,000 of them produced. In 1950, uh, there were, excuse me, in 1950, there were 51,000. 1950, 
51, there are 57,000. In 1952, there are 81 million. So those mintages are much, much, much lower than the 5, 10, 20 million kind of range that we were seeing throughout the uh, Ben Franklin history of those years. Now, as far as the most rare of the uncirculated coins, that's going to be the 1950 DCAM. That's going to sell for $2,300 in just raw condition. So that's a coin that hasn't even been graded and verified by PCGS can sell for up to $2,300. So that is quite the huge price tag if you've got a proof coin. Now, if you're a coin roll hunting, which is the primary reason, a primary uh, resource that a lot of people watching these videos do, and you come across some Ben Franklin half dollars, unfortunately, they're not going to probably be those proof coins, and they're not going to get that uncirculated designation, uh, because if they're in a roll, then they have been circulated. But you can still find some that are in great condition. You can build a set registry of them, a set registry of complete date mint sets. We'll have 34 coins in them, and that is going to have a value of 190 bucks. And it's also going to be a cool kind of bragging rights uh, that you said that you'll be able to say that you came across all these coins. So uh, build up that set registry, hang on to the coins because they've got about five to six dollars in silver value in them and enjoy yourself and have a great time coin collecting. All right, everyone, that's all the video, all of the time I've got for today's video. Hopefully uh, you found this informative as we talked about the Ben Franklin half dollar, which was made in 1948 all the way up until 1963. Thank you very much, everyone, and best of luck coin collecting out there. Enjoy.